Now in this video we'll discuss about NTP protocol where exactly it is used and also we'll get into the basic NTP configuration on Cisco routers. So NTP is a protocol which will allow you to synchronize the time between the networking devices. Like take an example here, you got some different networking devices in the LAN or in the WAN, you got some routers and the switches and NTP protocol allows you to have the same synchronized time on all the devices. Now the first thing is why there is a need for synchronization of the time. Now especially in the production network, we'll be using some external syslog servers and in that syslog servers, it's going to keep the track of each and every event, what is happening, like what is the date, what's the time and also in seconds as well. Now in order to have a proper logging information to be maintained, all the devices must have the same synchronized time. Now going to each and every device and giving the IP, uh, giving the exact time, it's not really possible. Now what we can do is we can use a protocol called NTP in the, in the network, which will allow you to automatically synchronize all the devices from a centralized source. Like we can make one device as a centralized server and we are going to apply some specific time on that server and all the devices will have the same synchronized time which they get from the server. Now the major advantage is it will make sure that your logging information and the time stamps have the accurate time and date. Now the NTP is going to take the time normally from authoritative time source it can be an external radio clock or it can be atomic clock connecting to any specific NTP server and then it is going to distribute the same time to all the remaining devices in the network. Now any networking device it can be. Now NTP uses UDP protocol and it works on port number 123 for both source and the destinations. Now NTP is going to keep the host and the network devices uh, have a synchronized time again. Let's get into some more things like NTP startup value. Now, NTP startup value refers to the distance between the networking device and the source, time source. Now we have some different startup values from 0 to 16. Now startup value is it's more similar to hops between from your source to particular destination, destination device. Now startup value zero is something we don't use. It refers to some, uh, some GPS service global positioning system that receives the time from the satellites. And probably one refers to the time servers which are connecting to that particular GPS, uh, GPS and it's getting the time maybe from the, from the satellite connections or the time servers. Now the time servers refers to one and then we have a startup value two, the next level devices or we can say which are clients for the startup value one devices. Like take an example, I have an external server which is referred as a startup value of one providing the time to the next device, maybe a router, it's, it's going to be increment automatically two and then it's going to provide the time to the next device which will be referred as three here. Now for the three, this two will be the time source and for the two, one will be the time source and for one, uh, maybe you are using some zero uh, GPS where you are receiving the uh, time from the satellites. Now in this network, in this product, now here as per our configuration, we can use any of the startup value. It, it doesn't matter, but uh, in, the, in this lab, what we are going to do is we are going to use all the Cisco routers where we are going to make any specific device as a server and we are going to define the startup value of some number, maybe two, maybe one, we can define. Generally we use starting from two and then it is going to provide the, I, uh, provide the same time, synchronized time to the clients and the client will be, uh, can be, can be routers or it can be switches here. So let's see the configuration, the configuration of NTP on the Cisco routers is very simple and straightforward here. Now the first thing, uh, we need to decide any one specific router as a server and we are not using any any of the radio clock or atomic clock here and we are going to use whatever the time on the router will be referred as my server time. Now we are going to make the router 2 as a NTP master or NTP server. And this server is going to provide the synchronized time to the clients and the router 1 and router 3 are acting as my clients. Now what we'll do is we'll change the time on the server automatically the clients should automatically change the time 
on their respective routers as well. And we are going to verify with some command called show clock, show NTP status and show NTP associations. Now, whichever the router you decided as a server, we just need to configure one command called NTP master. And this two refers the stardom value. You can use any, any value here. So normally zero ref refers to some GPS, whereas one refers to some, some servers connecting to some external clock. We can either use one or two. So here I'm referring to two here. And this is only one command we need to add on the server. Whereas the clients, we need to tell NTP server and we have to assign the IP address of the server here. Now in my scenario, I'm going to use 12.001, the loopback interface as the server IP address and make sure that the client should be able to reach to that server. Uh, then, only the, then only the client will be able to synchronize the time. So they must have the reachability to the server. That is the basic uh, prerequisite you need to know. And here we are going to provide the reachability via OSP protocol. So let's get into the configuration here. I got the same three routers and I got the routers here. I don't have any IGP configured. So let me just quickly configure the IGP. I'm going to advertise all the interfaces, just giving all zeros here. So let me copy paste the same commands on the remaining routers. So probably don't use all zeros in general, but here I'm just using it to advertise each and every interface here. Now on the routers, I have pre-configured loopback interfaces. If you want, you can verify with show IP interface brief. So I got all the interfaces pre-configured. Now I decided to make the router two as a server. And if you decide it, we need to simply say NTP. Now all the commands start with NTP. Just use question mark to find out the next possible options. Uh, we need to say NTP master as we decided to use this one as a master act as an NTP master clock. And then we can define the startup value here. So I'm going to define the startup value of two here. So that's it. And before I go ahead and if you verify the clock right now, it is the current time, April 30, 2015, but I'll change the time. I think it will be same on all the devices. So I'm going to configure on the client side. We are going to configure just one command that is NTP server 12001, the loopback interface. So before I, I configure the server, I'll try to check whether from the client I have a reachability or not. You can see I have a reachability and then I'm getting into config mode and then we need to say NTP server and the server address. Now the same command I'm going to configure on the other client that is router three. Done. Now if you verify show NTP status, uh, the right now the clock, clock is not synchronized. What I'm going to do is I'll change the time here. So I'll say clock set on the server. I'm going to apply the time as 10, all 10s, January 10 and 2015. And if you verify show clock, right now it is January 10, 2015. I should see the same time on the clients without changing. So if I say NTP status, you can see the clock is synchronized. Startup value is three. And you can see the reference clock is 12.001. And if I give show clock, now you can see the clients has changed. They didn't change the time. I think it will take some time. We just need to wait for some time. Meantime, we'll see the other options. Show NTP associations. You can see this is the address from where it is getting the time. Let's verify again, show clock. Now I just enabled a debug NTP all just to verify the messages. Here you can see there's NTP message sent to 12.001 and it has received the NTP message from 12.001. So these are some of the debug commands which you'll see. Uh, if you want, you can enable this. So I just said debug NTP all. There's a command called debug NTP all. Now let me verify the clock has to get synchronized. Still it is not synchronized. Just you need to wait for some time uh, because normally if you are using this, uh, it takes some time for the convergence. Let us give some time uh, for the convergence here. Now, if you just observe on the router one, after a lot of time, um, you can see the show clock command. Now the router one, which is a NTP client has synchronized the time from the server. So if you just check out on the router two as well, you can see the exact time 
and here also if you just check now it will be slight difference in few seconds but it's exactly the same here let's check on the serve on this router 3 as well so on the router 3 it's not it's synchronized but it will take some time it will come up after some time now if you want to go with some additional configurations like if you want to implement some kind of authentication where you want to ensure that the NTP has to trust the information if they have a common password like one kind of security which we can apply it's an optional parameter if you want we can apply now if you want to configure authentication on the client side we need to add NTP authentication key and we need to define the key and then we have to configure NTP we need to enable the NTP authenticate with the NTP authenticate command and then we need to say trust key whatever the key we are giving we have to say trust key and when we configure NTP server we need to define the key as well and this key has to match on both the sites and also the password now on the server side also we need to apply the same commands except except this command and this this command will not come because here we are going to add NTP master and the startup value here now authentication is an additional parameter if there is a mismatch of authentication in that case you will see that the server and the client may not be able to synchronize the time clocks now probably if you are doing some kind of troubleshooting uh, these authentication configurations is are present if they are present we need to verify and make sure that it is it is correct now to verify any of these specific configurations we can always use this command show run uh, pipe symbol include ntp because all the commands here will be listed with ntp here